Oh yeah, what's up, what's up everybody? It's time for some new Halloween character monsters. Whew, I'm excited. Am I excited? Well, I didn't, I didn't look at these yet. I know some people are already getting them, but I didn't look at them yet. Maybe we'll pull some on, uh, on Saturday morning summons this week. Ooh. Oh, before I get, uh, also you guys like the new layout? Yeah. This, the screen is actually a little bit bigger. The screen of actual content. And then I made my, my face a little bit bigger too. Ooh, I made my face a little bit longer. <laughs> Long Ooh, you, you, I know you like it longer. All right. So, um, oh. One thing before we start talking about the new monsters, um, for Saturday morning summons, I am having some serious issues. I have to play the game on um, on i on my uh, my iPad. So having some issues, I can't record actual game stuff right now because whatever Comptoise did with the new updates, they broke. Uh, they broke whatever my Android. I can't. I, I can finally log in, I just can't do anything. So I can't run dungeons, I can't do arena, I can't, um, I can't check the magic shop, I can't check chat, I can't do anything. Uh, I can't even actually, I can't give, get to the monster list from, uh, from there either. Which, kind of annoying. Yeah, so I can't use my Android. Hopefully they fix it by Friday, otherwise maybe I'll try to get my iPad thing running like it used to, but it used to run really, really bad, there was a lot of latency because it wasn't uh, connected directly. So hopefully we don't have to do that, but we'll we'll cross that bridge if we still have it uh, a couple days from now. So so yeah, let's um let's check out. So I'm just giving you guys a heads up just in case something happens and you're like, "Oh, no Saturday morning sums." I'll let you know. I'll let you know. But yeah, hopefully hopefully everything works fine by then and we're able to do when we pull a lot of these new monsters. Okay, we have Frankenstein, Fire Frankenstein, Hammer Punch. Uh, attacks the enemy two times and deals damage proportionate to your defense. Um, cause I'm I'm looking at this. I'm not looking at this in game. I'm looking at this from the website, the uh, the con the Hive website. Uh, attacks the enemy two times, deals damage proportionate to your defense. So he's a defense monster, I guess. Actually, we can we can check it out here. We can check it out here to see if he's a defense monster. Do 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 do. Where are you, bitch? Frankenstein HP. Okay, so he's an HP monster. Uh, I can see HP 3540, base HP, attack 201, defense 218, speed 97. When he's awakened, he gets a crit rate buff. Okay, so this is uh, based on his defense, though. Uh, each attack has a 25% chance to stun the enemy for one turn. Uh, if the target is not suffering any harmful effects, one additional attack is added. So, three hits on the first one. Three hits and stun. I, I actually kind of like this for a skill. I like the hammer punch. Okay. Then we have the body press. Crushes all enemies. Decreases their attack bar by 30% each. The damage of this attack increases according to your max HP and defense. It's based on two things. It's based on the max HP and defense. This is interesting. And uh, you guys, you can get these from... These aren't from dungeons, I guess. I don't know if they're going to open dungeons for them as well. But the ones that I saw people already summoning them from Mystical Scrolls. So these aren't like special Halloween dungeon events. They are not yet. I don't know if they will be. Uh, but that's interesting. Have we ever seen a monster that's attack is based on his HP and defense? I don't think we I don't think there is any that's based on both of those together. So that's that's interesting. It's an AoE attack bar. Um, well, we can't see what the upgrades are going to be. Um, attack bar decrease is nice. Is it's it's like um, it's like uh, the fire. It's like actually all of the not all of the. Uh, come on, you bagel. Um, it's like the Taoists. Taoists. Okay. Uh, and then we have the full power punch strikes. With every last bit of power left in the body, this attack will ignore the targets. Ignores defense. What? Okay. Hold up. Ignores defense, but you'll be stunned for one turn after performing this attack. The damage of this attack increases according to your defense. So everything... He's an HP monster, but he scales everything based on defense. So why is he not a defense monster? Ugh, come to us, you crazy. So he's actually... It says HP, he's a defense monster. He should be built... And his crit rate, when he's awakened, his crit rate is going to uh, increase by 15%. So, uh, defense, crit damage, defense, um, 
maybe Rage Guard, Rage Blade, something like that. We can see, hopefully, that might do, this might be the next copper. I want to see how much damage Full Power Punch does, because this looks like a really interesting skill. You get stunned afterwards, but this is really interesting. Ignores defense. We gotta see what we gotta we gotta see how that scales when it's when it's really strong. So yeah. Oh my god, I would love to get my hands on one of those. Uh, we'll do a spotlight on it too, so we see how much damage it does. Uh, we have the water one hammer punch. Okay, we already know what that is. Uh, taunt unleashes a, dev a devastating shot, which has a 50% chance to provoke the enemy for one turn. Okay, I'm not. There's nothing I'm getting excited about. It's a 50% chance to provoke for one turn, unless it does a ton of damage. But I don't know how much damage it's gonna do. I'm not excited about that though. As a second skill, we have the twisted sense of twisted senses passive becomes immune immune against defense decreasing effects. So immune against defense breaks. Nice. Your attack bar is filled up by 25% each time you get hit by a critical hit. Ooh. Hmm, that's, that's interesting. So, immune against defense breaks, which means you have to hit him multiple times to, uh, or ignore defense on him. Uh, you have to hit him multiple times to kill him. You can maybe, uh, you can maybe do, you could put this full defense, he can't get defense broken, and you could put revenge on him so that he keeps stunning when he's attacked. With the first, uh, with the first skill. That's interesting. Hmm. That is interesting. Let's see, let's see what he gets when he's awakened. Let's see what he gets when he's awakened. When he's awakened, he gets increases accuracy by 25%. So he's going to stun more often. Okay, stun and provoke more often. That's interesting. Then we have, okay, we have the wind one. Hammer punch attacks the enemy two times. Deals damage proportionate to your defense. Oh, yeah, we already saw that. Um, then we have the taunt. And we have strange reversible reaction. Your defense is increased by 25% for every beneficial effect on you and by 25% for every harmful effect you suffer. So anything that you get put on you, your defense increases. Oh my god. You know what I would love? I would love to have the full power punch with the, like as the second skill for this instead of the taunt. I mean, I know it's not going to wouldn't happen, but based on def like the this thing based on the defense but we i wonder how much the hammer punch would do if you get like a bunch of buffs and debuffs so immunity buff of course is not going to be man that is interesting defense is increased so is this does that mean that this might be pretty decent against dragons if no no because look at the first skill and second skill he's not gonna be good at dragons but at least every time he gets a dot or something else. He's gonna get the uh, defense increase. Although, if he gets defense broken, this one still can get the defense break. It's gonna nullify this increased defense. All right. Actually, it's gonna it's gonna be even worse than what the defense that he gets, the extra defense. Okay. So then we have uh, the light one. So I don't really like. I like the fire one. The fire one looks interesting. Um, I think the fire one looks like the most interesting. The water one, eh, and the wind one. I'm really not too excited about, but I could be wrong. We'll have to see in action how they do. Uh, the light hammer punch attacks the enemy. Uh, we already know. <laughs> Body press crushes their enemy. Okay. Uh, based on max HP and defense. Let's go. Actually, let's take a look at... Um, let's see what happens when the wind one is awakened. When the wind one is awakened, we get... Increases accuracy. Okay by 25%. The light one, when he's awakened, he increases resistance, okay. Uh, and then pound attacks the enemy four times and deals damage proportionate to your defense. Okay. So defense, defense, defense. These are, these are all defense monsters. They say HP, they're defense monsters. They should be built with defense. Uh, proportionate to your defense, two additional attacks are added if the enemy's max HP is lower than yours. Okay. And if your target is suffering a harmful effect. So he at least needs, if the enemy's max HP is lower than yours. So six attacks if the enemy's max HP is lower than yours. So you need a uh, good HP too. You need, it's based on defense, but both of these, the second and third skills, you need uh, high HP for. Okay, so build in, of course, as super mega tanks. Uh, maybe with, maybe with uh, revenge on there. So, interesting. That's six attacks though. 
six attacks. Hmm. That's interesting. But you don't... Do you really need two additional attacks if the enemy's max HP is lower than yours? You need the... If their HP is higher than yours, you want those extra attacks because you want to be able to kill them. Uh, all right. Well, we'll see. We'll see it. Uh, hammer punch for the... Okay, the dark one. We saw the hammer punch and the taunt. Rage charge passive. Your damage is increased according to the number of attacks you have received. Ooh. Ooh, damage increase will reset when you attack an- Oh, when you attack an enemy. Oh, damn it. Hmm. That's interesting. Wow, that's interesting. Because it's like- It's like a Fire Monkey King, right? Because damage is increased according to the number of attacks you've received. Every time you get hit with the Fire Monkey King, you get stronger. But this keeps resetting every turn, every time you attack. So maybe slow and tanky might be might be an interesting way to uh, to do it. Oh, like really, really. Well, how? Okay, let's check his passive. Let's check his speed. Uh, not his passive. Uh, let's check. He increases crit by fifteen percent, and he is slow. He's got ninety-seven base speed. Okay, so. Hmm, maybe tanky with revenge too. Maybe tanky with revenge too. I don't know. I like the fire one the best so far. I think. Okay, let's take a look at the jack-o'-lanterns. Alright. Nat fours. So these should be better. I like the look of them. You know, come to us. I designed a character for one of my games that looks like this. You bitches. Ah, stealing all my ideas. All my ideas. Actually, well, this is not the most there's other monsters that have looked like this before i didn't come up with it anyway so all right trickster attacks the enemy three times with each attack uh each hit having a 30 percent chance to decrease attack speed for two turns okay that's a pretty that's basically you're going to decrease the attack speed okay so this is good against uh slow tanky monsters uh ghost or or bosses uh ghost appearance calls upon the one the wondering the wondering or wandering I, I don't know. I guess it's wandering. Sounds like it should be wandering now. Okay, wandering. Uh, wandering souls to attack the target four times, four hits, three hits here, four hits here. Good for Necropolis. Okay. Okay. Um, and each hit has a thirty percent chance to increase the target's landing chance of landing a glancing hit. I'm not. I mean, again, good against maybe giants or dragons or something like that. But um. But I like the fact that these are multiple hits. So this is, again, good for Necropolis. Then we have fire starter attacks. All enemies two times with each hit having a 50% chance to either decrease the defense or disturb HP recovery. Okay. AoE two times de uh, defense break or disturb HP recovery. That would be interesting. I think, he's, I think he should be... Uh, he should, even though he has an AoE, I still think violent... And I think for Necropolis. So. Alright. Ah, uh, Trickster. Okay, let's look at the wa the water one. Oh, actually, let's look at the... Dump. 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 Let's look at his... Uh, when he's awakened, what does he get? When he's awakened... He gets a leader skill, increases the HP of ally monsters in dungeons by 33%. Okay, in dungeons only, though. In dungeons only. But that's still, that's still an extra... Extra benefit, but everyone that has uh, Veramos really, you don't need that. All right, and then we have Trickster attacks the enemy. Oh, you know what? This could be good for. Who could this be good for? This could be good for the the Hall of Wind, right? Because that's the one that. Uh, yeah, this could be good for the Hall of Wind as well. Okay, because he's um, the towers are the left tower. I'm pretty, if I'm remembering correct, actually I'm. I could just do it right now, but uh, I think that the he's got elemental advantage. Plus, it's, he's going to disturb the HP recovery. So, so yeah, this could be good for Hall of Wind. Uh, Trickster, and we see Song of the Night Wind increases the attack speed and crit rate of all allies for two turns. Hmm. Okay. Increases attack speed and crit rate of all allies for two turns. You can combo that with something that's based on attack speed, like Theomars. Or the Chimera. So you're going to get increased crit rate from that. You're going to get increased uh, attack speed in their first skills based on attack speed. 
No, the the Theomar's first skill is based on attack speed, um, and the Chimera's, well, some of the Chimera's second skill is based on attack speed. So, the Squall. So that's that's fun. Uh, and then we have, but it doesn't increase. It doesn't buff their attack gauge though. If it buffed their attack gauge, that would be something interesting. That would be like, ooh, increased t attack speed, attack gauge. But then that would be that would be too strong though. That would be too strong. But that's uh, that's that's nice for uh, for some for some things for some combos. Um, the cunning passive steals a beneficial effect from the target enemy when landing an attack. Your attack speed steals a beneficial effect, and your attack speed increases according to the beneficial effects currently on you. Oh, you know what? He could be good in Dragons B10. Um, he could be good at Dragons B10 for a face team, for a speedy face team. If you guys are running, like, if you have a water, again, the water chimera we're talking about, uh, you'll actually be able to, it's a passive, so I would ruin him violent. Uh, yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. And he's gonna steal, he's gonna have, uh, that chance to steal the dragon's buff. He's got elemental advantage over that. He can decrease the dragon's attack speed and increase the attack speed and crit rate, which is nice if you're going, like, a really, really strong, um, squishy but strong face team. Okay. But that's, like, not too many. Like, that's, like, for high-level players. So... I don't think that's going to be for everyone, but but at least you you have to have the team to build around that. So Varian might be using this, I guess. Um, everyone in Guardian, uh, Trickster, or I mean, it could be something to try out anyway for them. Uh, Trickster, okay, we already saw that. We saw Song of the Night Wind, uh, Shadow of the Moon gains a shield that is equivalent to 20% of your max HP for one turn when being attacked by an enemy. This effect only activates once a turn. So if they violent proc, you don't keep getting extra shields. Okay. <sighs> Equivalent to 20% of your max HP. So he's a wind tank. So he has these the same first two skills, but he's... Let's check... Uh, actually, let's check the water one, too. The water one should have a dungeon leader skill. Uh, increases accuracy of ally monsters in the dungeons by 40%. As for the water one... And then for the wind one, what do we have? For the wind one, we have increased defense in dungeons. Okay. And he's a he's a support monster. He's a support monster. He's got a hundred base speed. All right. Then we have. Hmm. I'm trying to think of what I... He's, he's like, similar to, uh, to the Wind Lich in functionality. He's going to keep getting that shield, right? And then he's going to decrease the enemy's attack speed. Okay. So he's, he's going to have the speed advantage. Speed advantage, and he's going to gain a shield, and he's, like, a tanky monster. Okay. So that's why I see him similar to the Wind Lich. Similar-ish. Uh, we have Trickster, Ghost Appearance. Ghost Appearance calls upon the wonder the Wandering Souls to attack the target four times. Each hit has a 30% chance to increase the target's... Okay, no, we saw... We saw that, okay. We saw that. Uh, and then Long Waiting becomes immune against in inability effects. Also, your attack power is increased by 20% for every beneficial effect on you. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. So what is what uh, what kind of stuff do we have on him? So he needs he needs a good a good combo. I wonder. Hmm. Hmm. Well, let's see. Let's see if he's an attack monster or what or what he is. All right. He's here somewhere. Let's find him. And I know the Neo Stone agents got super hot. Okay, so he's he's attack based. He is an attack monster. We're gonna have to do a video on this and see how strong this can hit when he's buffed up. Cause you can have your attack power increased. You can have something like um, you can build. 
teams that buff the attack uh, attack power, and then the crit rate, and then the speed, and stuff like that, and maybe stick a Chloe on here too. I don't, I don't know. I mean, you could say maybe he can get five beneficial effects, and then we'll see how crazy strong he can be. How crazy strong he can be with that combo. Um, hmm. Hmm. That's interesting. That is interesting. We'll have to check that out. His, uh, but he is an attack monster, so that works at, with him. Uh, the leader skill increases the crit rate of ally monsters in the dungeons by 24%. Okay. Hmm. We're gonna have to see how much, because this, if this doesn't do a lot of damage, then it's basically useless. But I guess, uh, I guess Violent would be, Violent, or maybe even Rage. If we can, like, do a shitload of damage with this, maybe Rage might be good. Okay, but we'll see. We'll see. And he doesn't he doesn't have a self buff though. So he needs a team that's built around him. I don't know. I don't really love that though. You you really you need to It needs to be it needs to be a combo. It needs to be he's not going to be good without other stuff. Okay, Trickster attacks the enemy 3 times. Okay, we saw that. Song of the Nightwind. Uh and then the Knight's Comfort passive if the turn ends without attacking an enemy the enemy increases the okay so a shield that it, if the turn ends without attacking an enemy which means if you do the song of the night wind and don't attack uh, a shield that is proportionate to your level and lasts for three turns is generated while having the shield all damage you deal is increased by 50 percent wow okay three turn shield but they can take that off they can just hit you and Hmm. It's a shield, but it's a shield that's a buff too. So basically, call that call that a shield with like a little attack sword next to it, because that's basically what it is. Okay, let's find let's find his awakened his awakeningness. Let's see what happens. Uh, increases resistance in dungeons. Resistance. Okay. All damage you deal is increased by... Oh, let's check out if he's an attack monster, too. Oh, he is an attack monster. 374 base attack on uh, 4 star unawakened. Okay. Hmm. We're going to have to try out these light and dark ones to see how much damage this actually does, if it's beneficial to, like, actually... Because we can buff the crit rate on these, too. So... Well, we can buff the crit rate on this one. This one has the crit rate leader skill. But they're both attack monsters, and they have some form of crit rate buffing. So. Hmm. Hmm. But we need to keep that shield on to get that attack buff. Okay. Oh my goodness. We'll have to we'll have to see how we'll see we'll have to see what the multiplier is, how much damage it actually does. Okay. Then we have some other updates. Necropolis will undergo some balancing. Yeah, okay, okay, a lot of people saw that coming. Uh, the HP and attack speed of the Ancient Lich King have been slightly lowered. Everyone's breathing a sigh of relief. They're like, thank you! Oh my god, finally! The overall stats of the Ancient Lich King on the 5th and 8th floor of the Necropolis have been lowered. Uh, the stats of some monsters in the Necropolis have been lowered. The stats on some, mo uh, some monsters? So, the stats on the... I'm guessing the Liches on the way to the Lich King. So, like, midway through the level, I'm guessing, is what they're mainly talking about. Uh, now the access status of guild members will be displayed in the guild menu. What? Let's see real quick if I can figure out what that is. The access... I'm trying to look. I'm trying to look. Okay. Is it immediately viewable? I cannot. Okay, I can't see it right away. So I'll figure. I'll figure out what that is later. Uh, power package pop-up message will no longer appear when fusible monsters have been fused. There have been some changes made to the graphics of the normal. Yeah, those Neostone agents got hotter. Okay, we all know that. We're like, oh yeah, they look like a sexy school teacher instead of a regular school teacher. Also, they still have a sword, so probably not a school teacher. Uh, bug fixes. <laughs> bug fixes. Don't you mean new ones? Um, the pop-up message for the first five-star monster achieved uh, achievement was indicating that it was a reward for the six-star evolution. The display error has been fixed, and everyone was like, "Jubilee, you're not paying attention." 
I was paying attention, but I was looking at the icons. But now, like, see, this is... I wasn't going crazy. I was only half crazy. Because it said five-star monster evolution, but it showed six stars. So, yeah, I mean, that wasn't, like, game-breaking bug, though. But at least they fixed it. The issue of the Ifrit's turn being skipped under certain situations where the indoor effect has been activated by continuous damage or bomb effects has been... I didn't know. Um... I don't have a Theomars, so I didn't know that. But we'll see. Turn being skipped. Yeah, I, I, I didn't notice that. So iOS fixed an issue regarding, regarding, regarding free energy event not applying to accounts that have no energy left. Oh, okay. So just a regular, regular old bug. All right. So those are the new monsters. Very interesting. I think the monster. The three star that I'm really looking at is I want to see the full power punch. I want to see how much damage that does because that could potentially be like really, really strong. So that's the one that I'm looking for on this. Uh, and then, and then I want to see. I'll, we'll we'll try out some of these these jack o' lanterns too to see how much damage they do. So or the the attack ones anyway. But I mean, of course, we're gonna do we're gonna eventually do spotlights on all of them as well. But yeah. Oh, my goodness. 26 minutes of me talking. Yes, that's exactly what you guys tuned in for. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. Just going over the uh, the new monsters, new skills. Fun times. I really want to try out this Frankenstein. I think he might be... Uh, he might be a really cool new monster. He might be... Like... Basically... He does... You know... Oh! Here's, here's another interesting thing. Okay. Um, so he, I mean, he's basically like, okay, he could be like the new, um, like Kali and like, whatchamacallit, and like, um, Copper, right? Because ignores defense or the, uh, the other, um, the other high elementals as well. But remember this, um, you'll be stunned for one turn after promo uh, performing this attack. You can violent out of the stun or you can use immunity and I assume that because uh, I've seen other things that you know like Chloe when Eladriel revives and does f like half damage to himself when he revives if Chloe is shielding him he does no damage to himself which is badass and annoying as it's at the same time but um yeah if you have immunity this should uh that should be fine that should, if you have like Delphoi or Draco or something like that, you shouldn't be stunned. So you, this should have no drawback. So that is cool. I want to see the multiplayer on this. The full power punch is my fav. The Necropolis, ne Necropolis, Necropolis uh, nerf, and the Fire Frankenstein are my two most exciting things. I think with this uh, with this update, but we'll go. We'll look at more. We'll do some more spotlights and stuff like that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe. I talked for like 28 minutes too long. Awesome. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. Snip, 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 snip. I don't know. Snip, snip.